Hey, I'm Sai. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to open up six Lego DC minifigure packs and see if I can complete my collection, which I neglected. So let's get in and open up the first one. Okay, so I, I neglected this um, this season and it's really bad because I think I probably only have about two from this. One of them is definitely Batmite. Um, and thank God knows whoever else. So we've got the Joker by the looks of things, um, which is pretty cool because I don't have him uh, yet or at all. So yep, definitely the Joker. His head's flying off everywhere. Everything's going crazy. Uh, that's not even his head. That is pretty cool. That's what a pink CMF. Um, it's not. It's a pink um, minifigure head, which is for the candy floss. So I'm going to build him up and let you look at him now. Okay, so I moved in here. The light box is better for light, especially this guy. Uh, so he looks absolutely awesome. He has got his candy floss, or cotton candy, if you guys in America like to say. I love the green hair and that big grin, but the suit is so cool as well. Uh, the back print is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm lying, it's just plain. Um, but yeah, the hair is cool, and that build for the uh, cotton candy is awesome. We'll take a closer look at that um, Joker card right now. So that is the Joker card right there. It looks pretty cool. It's the Joker with a Joker card on a Joker card. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, next bag. Um, hopefully it's something I don't have already. So let's take a look. Get rid of the scissors. And hopefully everything doesn't go flying everywhere. Um, it's be big things in here. Or maybe something inside a bag. A bag in a bag. So well, here is... A rope. I know who this is. And we have dun, dun, dun. Batman. Let's build him up. Okay, so here's Batman all built up. I have him looking like this so you can get to see the first of all on his head he has goggles, which is pretty cool because Batman doesn't usually have goggles underneath um, any of these kind of things. What he usually has are kind of just white bands just across the top of his um, head printed on but here he's got goggles which are pretty cool then his torso and his legs uh, look awesome the legs are dual molded he's got a blue batarang and he's got a big long rope on the back he's got some printing and he has his utility belt as well so let's look at him with the cape down and his cowl on now he looks different doesn't he he looks cool he's got really long ears on that cowl and um I like the cape. The cape is actually pretty cool because one of those soft capes so it doesn't um, crease up or anything. Uh, yeah, really cool minifigure. Don't have this one, so yes, he is another one that's going into the collection. And now my Batman collection is even bigger. Yes, next. Okay, let's see what is in this one here. Hopefully, again, I hopefully don't get any doubles. I don't, I don't mind doubles because I usually try and collect two of each from a um, series. So it is Cheetah, as far as I know. So let's build her up. So here she is all built up. And what I'll do is I'll show you the back face where she looks really angry. She is very angry. But the tail has print on the sides. Her arms have print on the sides. The legs have side printing as well, which is pretty cool. You don't see all that kind of printing, you know, extensive printing like that. You don't see it that much on minifigures. Her bag has a dollar sign because she has just robbed the bank. So let's have a look at her with her head on or hat or ears or whatever. Yep. Check her out. There she is completely all built up so I moved the uh, bag over into her other hand as well so that dollar sign can be seen better and I really I didn't think I'd like this minifigure uh, but now I have her in my hands or on the turnaround thing she looks pretty cool like there's a lot of detail on that and I don't understand why why they didn't put so much detail like this on some of the newer minifigures in the really expensive sets. I just understand it. I, I'm talking about you, Greedo, in the most likely cantina. Okay, bag three of six. And let's see what we have in here. Ooh, that didn't feel good. Don't know what I cut there. Hopefully, I didn't cut anything. It was on my finger. That's the main thing. So, okay, what have we got? We've got something in the bag again. Ooh, very nice. Come back to you. Okay, a bag and a bag and a keep. Let's build it up. This is Superman. Now that's one of his alternate faces and it looks a little bad. No, he doesn't look well, 
but um, that's him there really nice prints there's his more familiar face happy on the back and back to his front so look at the torso of that it's really really nice there is no printing on the waist on the hips which i think they could have put something there but uh, the legs front legs pretty cool let's look at him with his hair on now that's much better that other fr face was freaking me out so there he is with his hair and that familiar curl that he has and yeah he looks really cool another superman to my collection and um i just want to show you one other thing it's a newspaper he that comes with him so this is the daily planet and it says caped wonder stun city now my hand isn't shaking that badly just because i'm so close it's superman's um he's saving a plane that is one of the engines are on fire really 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 like that a lot it's pretty cool we don't get many different newspapers but this one is cool okay seen these before this goes into the bottom or the back of the legs of some of these um superheroes so we let them kind of like to pose and stuff but the great thing about it is you're able to put them into the flying characters and put them into poses like this where it looks like they're flying and the great thing about the capes is you're able to um position them so it looks like they're actually flying in the air so there's superman flying along a uh, great um great looking figure and great looking figure in the air he's flying is it a plane is it a something? No, it's Superman. Okay, so touch wood, no doubles yet, which is cool. Um, get this open, lose the scissors, tip it out if it can open, and we have... Ooh, that's pretty cool, come back. Okay, let's build it up. This guy's called Metamorpho and he's cool. So he's got a white head and uh, his chest doesn't really match up to his, I suppose, skin tone. Or maybe they can get away with it because he's got an orange hand as well. But he looks cool. So two-toned um, torso. He's got this giant hand. He's got this, look at his right leg. That is a, well, his left leg, but right leg to me and you. It's a clear minifigure leg. It's not the first time I've seen clear minifigure legs, but it's cool. Uh, it has come some awesome printing on the side. His arm there has some nice printing. And his back has, he's really muscly, isn't he? But um, on this side again, the arm has printing and this leg is printing cool. Uh, printing too, which is cool. And he has a print on the hip, see the waistband? Which I like because they don't do that often enough, I don't think. Um, move this out of the way and see if we can see it properly. If he's dancing around there um, so you can't really see it much better but yeah it's pretty cool and um, nice and shiny a belt buckle ah there you go see it's an M for metamorpho nice minifigure okay last bag and we have yeah we haven't got any you know I wouldn't mind a duplicate um, Superman Rebirth just for the newspaper because that's pretty cool newspaper. Ooh, pretty cool. I do like uh, Green Lantern. So let's build him up. Okay, so this dude is Simon Baz Green Lantern and he is awesome. He is so cool. Um, got a Green Lantern um, symbol on his chest and the back has some cool, um, it's not a luminous printing, but it's really cool. And there's some darker um, printing there as well. Let's see if we can actually see it. Um, kind of, yeah, it's hard to see, but it's cool. I like it. Um, now, what I'll do is I'm going to give him his lantern and his ring, and we'll take a better look at him like that. So there's the green lantern, Simon Baz, with his lantern, which is really cool. It's a, it's, they properly, they've done it properly. There was a few, um, a few kind of, I think it was a brick built um, lantern before which wasn't good but this version of the lantern will go really well with my Big Bang Theory set because there is one in the set and it doesn't look good and this looks look good they have the two circle things have little um, prints of the um, green lantern symbols on them you get two of those one each and yeah that is so cool so we didn't get any doubles which is awesome so these can go in the collection, look awesome. Still haven't finished the collection, more of these to come. I'm Sai, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe by hitting the circle picture. And I'll see you tomorrow.